Goodbye, Lucy. We shall miss you. And I shall miss you, all of you. And my darling little Sophie, most of all. Yes, I know. And Sophie <laughs> loves you too. My wonderful Lucy. I shall never oh. forget you. Oh, Lucy, I want you to stay. I know, but I can't miss Sophie. But I'll come to visit you. That's a solemn promise, dear. When? When you're a little older, darling. That's Madame. Goodbye, Lucy. Together. I don't feel like it. I'm tired. Climb onto my back. I'll carry you. Ah, uh, if only we had a little donkey cart like Camille and Madeleine. We could ride round the garden, gather flowers and nuts and everything. It would be tiring. Not if we had a donkey. Yes, but the donkey is not going to pick the flowers or gather the nuts. Why don't we finish our garden in the meantime? I don't feel like it. I told you that I was tired. Yes, and you want a donkey. So you'd rather sulk. Bye bye. Oh, what's the matter, Martha? I find you very clumsy today. I'm sorry, madam. It's because of poor Lucy. I feel so badly for her. You needn't worry about Lucy. I recommended her very highly to a friend of mine who's looking for domestic help. Yes, but she and Sophie, madam. They've always been together, ever since the child was born. It's very sad. I dismissed Lucy with a heavy heart, believe me, Martha, but I had to. Sophie's mischief was becoming far too dangerous. Lucy was unable to control Sophie. Well, look who's here. It's not fair to let you do all of the work alone. <laughs> all right, I admit it, I'm bored. But still, if we had a donkey... You know, it's a good idea after all. Oh, it's so hot. It is. And we have to carry so much earth to our garden. So heavy. If only we had a cart to put it on. It would make our work so much simpler. Why don't you go and fetch the big wheelbarrows near the vegetable patch? Don't even think about it. I've already tried. 
They're too heavy. One of them turned over and everything fell on top of me. If only we had a donkey and a little cart. Oh yes, like Camille and Madeleine. They're so lucky, aren't they? Listen, Paul, I have an idea. <laughs> you and your ideas. How much pocket money does my aunt give you each week? One franc. Mother gives me the same. That makes two francs a week for the two of us. If we saved it all, how much would we have in a month? Not nearly enough to buy a donkey. I know. We'll ask my mother and my aunt to give us our Christmas money in advance. They'll say no. We won't know that until we've asked them. Mama! Yes, Sophie? What is it? Mama, could I have my Christmas money in advance? Would you mind telling me why? To buy a donkey. A donkey? Yes, to help us with our gardening. We've been working all morning carrying earth and... and nothing seems to have changed. We need so much of it and it's so hot. What are you thinking, young lady? That a donkey is going to dig up the earth for you? <laughs> no, Mother, that's not it. We can put the earth on a cart and the donkey can pull it. I see. You need a donkey and a cart as well. Your idea is very good. But I won't give you your Christmas money now. Oh, Paul will be disappointed. He was going to ask my aunt for his Christmas money if you agreed to give me mine. And since you don't agree... It's out of the question. But nevertheless, you will have your cart and donkey. Oh, thank you, Mother. Thank you so much. You're so kind. Listen, Lambert, listen. Mother wants you to buy a donkey. They're stubborn. Stubborn? What makes you say that? <laughs> you mean with all your learning you don't know that? They're stubborn. Very stubborn. We still want one, Lambert. Hurry, will you? Lambert is ready to leave, Mama. Lambert has got to bring in the hay first. He'll have to go tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh. Tomorrow, Sophie. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you, Auntie. <laughs> I made myself clear, Mina. You must be firm with her. You wanted to see me, Mother? Yes, come here, please. I'd like you to meet Mina, your new nanny. How do you do, Miss Sophie? Hello. Sophie, Mina was engaged to teach you to obey and to act sensibly. You can depend on me, madam. May I go now, Mother? Paul is waiting. Yes, you may. is horrible. And she's old as well. She must be at least 30. You're always soaking. This is what she looks like. <laughs> is that a drawing for Camille and Madeleine? Of course not. I don't want them to run away. <laughs> that would be a pity, since they're bound to have their cousins from Paris with them. Jean and Leon? That's right. They're on holiday in Fleurville. I can't wait for them to come. It's been so long since we've seen them. I don't think they'll be coming from that direction, Sophie. I was looking for my donkey. Your donkey? But I thought it was our donkey. It was my idea. Your idea, but I fought for it. By the way, how do you like this? It's a gift for Jean. Oh no, I'm going to give Jean a drawing. <laughs> Mr. Paul, your friends have arrived. Thank you, Mina. We'll be right down. <sighs> Thank you, Paul. I'm sorry, I, I didn't know why I did that. Because I, I mentioned pray. Jean. I know that you're very fond of him. Hello. They couldn't 
come. They had far too much schoolwork. Hello, Paul. Hello, Sophie. It's nice to see you again. Oh. Lambert! Have you found my donkey? Where is he? Ah! Always in a hurry, aren't you? Such elegance. Leo, I am so glad that you like my dress. You know, it comes from <laughs> Paris. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to get my donkey? I'm going now to look for a nice gentle one, Miss Sophie. But I'm afraid it might take a little time. A little time? Oh, no! You're getting a donkey? Oh, I don't really like them. Not at all. Oh, if it isn't the snobbish gentleman from Paris who never likes anything. Why don't we prepare a stall for your new friend? That's an excellent idea. I'll race you all to the stable. It smells of horses. Oh, you silly people. Afraid to get dirty. This is perfect for your dog. The one we use for the falls. Oh yes, I'm sure he'll be happy in here. We'd better get some straw inside. Oh. Uh, <laughs> be careful, Leah. Don't tire yourself out. We all know how fragile you are. Let me do it. I'm bigger than you. <laughs> I can't see why Leon insists on dirtying his elegant clothes. <laughs> How about Leon? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a good name for him. <laughs> we'll call him Grey Belly. Grey Belly? That's nice. Look, Mama! Mama, Lambert's brought Grey Belly home. Grey Belly? That's not a very respectable word for a young lady to use. Peasants use words like that. Who taught you to speak that way? Can we take him for a walk, Mother? Yes, if Mina goes with you. It's our turn now. As soon as we reach that tree. I'm sorry, Miss Sophie. It's been two hours and I have things to do. After the tree, we shall take him back to the stable. We can play something a little less babyish. Greybelly is so gentle, we can continue on alone. Why, yes, of course we can. Not without asking Madam's permission. I'll go. No, we shall go together. Oh. Greybelly back to the stable, as you said. I've had enough of him for today. You don't know what you want, do you? Two hours is very long. A little rest would be good for him. No need to bother, Mother. Greybelly's as gentle as a lamb. At last! We've got rid of Mina! <laughs> Oh. Donkeys are stubborn. Lambert was right. I suggest that we play with our stilts. You can't get a thing through his head. The problem with him is getting through his skin. He can't feel anything. That's why I don't like donkeys. They're a bore. Leon, you're always so full of optimism. I have an idea. Wait here. Well. It's a little early for tea, isn't mm. it? Are you making an apple tart? Stop that, Miss Sophie. Can't you mm. see? I only have enough for the one tart. What would you like? Uh, carrots for my donkey. Martha will give you some. There should be two or three left in the basket there. Thank you. Sophie looks so happy. He'll move when he feels this. I'm sure of it. 
That is absurd. Be careful, Sophie. I'm afraid for her. But this won't hurt him. His skin is too thick. Oh! <laughs> Grey like a good donkey. Poor Grey Belly. I didn't mean to hurt him. It was only a little fork. Sophie, are you all right? Yes, yes, I'm all right. Oh, I'm really in trouble now. We're all in trouble now. No, speak for yourselves. I had nothing to do with it. No, don't worry. The important thing is you weren't hurt. Sophie, what have you done now? Where's the donkey? He is. What happened? It wasn't me, it was Sophie. I want an answer immediately, you hear? And where is Mina? Here I am, madam. I ran after them right away. Why did you leave the children alone with the donkey? Madam, I did not leave them alone. You were to take him to the stable. Miss Sophie lied to me, madam. He was so gentle and tame. Then a minute later, he reared up and... And threw you off. That's obvious just looking at you. Oh, madam, here is why he reared up. We didn't mean any harm. He refused to take another step, and we tried to wake him up a bit. Go to your room. But where is Sophie? She's punished. What's wrong? Do you feel guilty about something? Has Sophie been punished because of you? We'll discuss this later. There is something very cunning about boys that I find exasperating. I wonder what you would say if you were Sophie's mother. I would be delighted to have had a girl. I hope that Paul hasn't caused you any difficulty. We're so happy that you're able to keep him here with you. Paul is a wonderful boy. He's no bother at all. On the contrary, he's a good example for Sophie. He knows how to calm her boundless energy, and they adore each other. It's a pleasure to see them together. I've always been extremely graceful on stilts. Try to catch up with me then, Mr. Showoff. <laughs> it's Leo. I don't know why he's always so keen on walking on stilts. <laughs> to feel bigger than us. Poor <laughs> 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 Leon. Oh, I'm so awful. A bit naughty, perhaps, but not awful. If you were, I wouldn't have bought you a present. Oh, what is it? You'll have to guess. A picture? Hmm. A book? A drawing? Ah. Something like a book with a drawing and a picture. Oh, it's so lovely. Is that Paris? Yes, the Louvre. And look at this. Oh, a donkey. Did you draw it, Jean? Yes, it will be our souvenir. There. Now it's our drawing as well. Oh, thank you, Jean. I have an idea. Huh? What are you doing? You're not allowed to mount the donkey. I know, but if I hitch Greybelly to a cart, he can take us all for a ride. It was only forbidden to mount him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh? Come on. <laughs> 
I going for a ride? Oh, my Aunt Sue. She said I wasn't to mount the donkey. She said nothing about being pulled by him and not even touching him. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Ah! The little devil. He wants to go home. We must teach him to obey. Oh, Miss Sophie, not again. I'll show you how it's done. Oh, this whip, it's useless. So now Mr Leon knows all about whips. I know how peasants do it. I've watched them. Go on then, show us. Mm. You have to whip them with holly, that's all. Oh no, I think we should go home. Paul's right. Throw the branch away, Leon. Hmm? Ha! Another word. I know you, young lady, and you'll come to know me too. I am not, and I never will be, anything like your Lucy, because I <laughs> intend to be obeyed. Sophie, our mothers have come back. We must be honest this time. Come on. I don't even want to know who is responsible. Lambert is looking for the poor beast. He is to be sold tomorrow. You will eat in your room until further notice. <laughs> <laughs> 